so I have gilded the back in silver it's really shiny and as it gets harder overnight I gradually use my fingers and just gently push in some areas it's more a question of feel than anything because it's already adhered down completely now it's just beautiful so, so <laughs> next stage which I want to show you is um, I have this little um, pink cup here because I wanted to show you it's very important but I forgot to do it to put it into something because it's so easy just to knock this over this stuff never dries it stays tacky forever and um, if I get any little bits anywhere then I just generally speaking will put some I'll gild them so here we go um, let's get into here so I want to go just around the edges and going into here so it just meets where the so-called barnacles have crept across I might put some silver down there yet I'm not sure I think I might get carried away with your own imagination now <laughs> So, they are stuck down, but I just wanted to get into these little tiny corners. It's well worth the um, attention that you have to give it. It's well worth the fiddling. You know, that backstage I used one, two, three, four, five sheets of silver leaf. Um, and any little bits of silver that are left on the surface there, I will just add them to my jewellery when I paint up for jewellery. I'll show you how I do that too. So go around the edges like this, pick up any extra and put it to the edge. And again, I shall probably let this go tacky. It takes about five minutes and I'll add another coat. So that can be like that and then that can I usually take most of it off with that and then let it go in there because you can see that there's still quite a lot of you can see by the colour there's still quite a lot of size to go out there and then put the top on because that's very very important because <laughs> it would ruin a happy day okie dokie